Okay, I see another. Bunch of police cars and a bomb squad up here. Let's see what's really going on. Let's see what's really going on in this town. Yep. Oh wow. You a farm marshal? No. Oh. <laughs> Where's the bomb? There was no bomb. It's just customary because um, something got knocked over on the stove and blew. When it blew, blew all the way. Really? Yeah, I'm alternative. I'm alternative media. Alternative news media. Oh! So something got knocked over on the stove? Yeah. And Some metal can. That's what the fire marshal said. And it blew up? Yeah, it blew up. When it did, it blew, it was like a ball went on. Huh. It knocked, I, I live on this side, Kathy, and I didn't hear That's my kids' side. Right there where it blew out. Yeah. I was just sitting there with him. I was him. smoking a cigarette. Oh man. Yeah. I mean, not even three minutes did I come around this corner. By the time I got to the driveway, of people. Huh. So it blew out that window? Oh, it blew out the whole house. All the doors, windows, they're all gone. Something. Huh. Never seen anything like it in my life. And that's because someone left a can on the stove? Or I, I don't know. They said they found a, a, like a paint can or some metal can. Uh -huh. And it probably was a paint can because Jeremy was getting fixed and paint his truck. Oh, okay. And maybe this is the, I don't know what happened. So huh. just going by what she said. All right. I have no idea. Okay. What's that? Woods. My name's not Mr. Woods. Huh? My name's not Woods. Mr. Wood, Robert Wood, you can stand over there and My last name's not Wood. Okay, what is it? Doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't care, but you see how this says bomb squad? I want you to yeah. there. Yeah. I heard it was a can. I want you over by the stop sign. That's as close as you get. <laughs> So you gotta let her walk down. <laughs> well, my understanding, it was a paint can that was 
put on a stove and I guess someone turned the stove on and didn't realize the can was there and it blew up the house. Interesting. So they got their bomb squad here. So Salem police have no problem with him going down the street. So let's see what's going on over here. What are they doing? Ma making you guys go across the street? How you doing? Back out of line of sight of the house because there's explosive devices in there and that we're going to end up dealing with. So if we can get you to... There's explosive devices in there? There's, it's a hazard, yes sir. So that's okay. why we're trying to get everybody out of the way. Okay, what I was told was there was a can on a, a paint can on a stove that exploded. That's, well, you don't have all the information. That was the reason they got us here, but now we found more stuff. So we need to make sure that you're out of harm's way. Okay. So if you want to hang back with those folks or whatever, you're, you're welcome to, as long as you're, as long as you can't see the house with your eyes, you're good to go. You can be anywhere down there, but uh, what's in there could potentially be frag producing, uh -huh. like contain fragmentation. And so that stuff can go through walls pretty quick. So we're trying to get everybody out of harm's way. Okay. okay? But I'm, but I'm alternative media. Sure. And if Channel Six was here, you guys would wouldn't have a problem with Channel Six setting up. No, here. absolutely, we would we would have a super big problem with that. We wouldn't let Channel Six be here either. We put Channel Six all the way down there as well. Yeah, it doesn't well, matter if you're media or you're these. Yeah. Those, those poor people live here, right? And we kick uh -huh. them all the way down the street. So all we're asking from you is the same as we're asking for everybody, and it's for your own safety. It's not it's not like we're we're trying to hide something. We're okay. just trying to do it for safety. Okay. okay. In, in that case, are you going to block off the street? We're working on all that. Okay, we're working okay. on all that. Well, I'm, I'm going to cross the street. That way I can film. 
If you cross the street, you need to be uh, uh, down at least where those folks are. What about so, right over there? Do you understand how fragmentation works? I understand how, fra well, are you, if, if, if you're worried about fragmentation, you got all these cars in the way. Yep, and we're working on all that right now. Well, I don't see any work on the cars. I, I have a lot of things that I need to be doing right now uh -huh. that, are, that are critical to what we're trying to get done. And uh -huh. so the discussion that we're having is taking a lot of that time. Uh -huh. I would really appreciate it if you could kind of go with the program here and just get out of line of sight for your own safety. It's, I'm not asking you to do it because I'm trying to be mean. Uh, okay. Like I said, there are a lot of things I'm trying to work right. on, including I'm, working on the traffic. Yeah, right? I'm not worried but about... I'm, 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 not, not allowed, yeah. I'm not allowed to work on that right now okay. because I'm talking okay. to you. I'm, I'm not worried about safety, so if I go across the well, street... Well, that's where you and I are different. I am yeah. worried about safety. That's my job. Community uh, safety. That's my job. Yeah. So can I get you to move down the street or do we need to take another route? I you're welcome to cross the street, but you need to be down the road one way or the other. You can't be directly in front of the house. Does can't be directly sense? in front of the house? Yeah, so like down, down uh, the intersection down there by that? Well, no, I'm not going that far down. I'm probably going to go on the corner over here. You get where you want to be, and then I'll move you if I need it, okay? Okay. <laughs> So he's saying that he's going to work on this. He's worried about a fragmentation explosion, and yet they're not shutting down this street. Hell no, they ain't. You're safe if you come this way. Huh? You're safe if you come this way. Oh. Do you know what they're doing? Uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, someone stuck um, a paint can on a stove, and I guess it exploded. And now, now they're sitting there saying that they found uh, other explosive devices in that house. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I was just trying to see the extent of the damage there, but. Yeah, they're um, the wi the uh, the window uh, was blown out this way, the front one over here, and I heard all the doors were knocked off. Oh wow! Yeah, see, I was right here and shook the whole house. So. Oh really? Yeah, I'm just kind of wondering what's going on. Yeah. It's uh, crazy. And this officer over here sat there and said I had to go all the way to the corner where I couldn't see. And I go, are you going to shut down the street? He goes, yeah, I guess it's going to shut down that lane. <laughs> yeah. That, no. They won't say that kind of yeah. stuff. Do you live around here? No, I live in Portland. Oh. I came to cover the event and oh. nothing happened, so. Okay. I was on my way back and I seen a bomb squad truck behind me and I just was watching it and came up here and seen all these cop cars and go, yep, here's where I'm going, here's where I'm stopping. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, paint, paint, if it heats up, can, can turn into an explosive. Yeah. I heard, but, I heard some lady had a really bad facial problems. Oh, yeah? Huh. Yeah, it seems kind of I don't know. I'm just 
concerned. Yeah. Looks, ooh, they're getting, they're clearing everybody out. Yeah. Yeah, the people that live in that house, they're down there past those trees. Sir, I need you to evacuate your house. Go get fucked. So you live here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It does smell kind of funny. I was going around the corner over there. Mm -hmm. Alright. You ever get on YouTube much? Oh, sometimes, yeah. This is my channel. Okay. Cool. I'm going to go over my hand. I might know what's going on. It looks like we're making steps here. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, these guys have probably grabbed me because they wanted me to uh, get out of the side of the house. And I said, well, I'll cross the street. Yeah. He goes, well, I'll have you move if I need you to move. So, I don't have no place else to move except where I can't see the house. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, man. Yeah. My uh, neighbor was like, I was expecting some kind of explosion today, just not across the street. Yeah, I had a, um, it was funny. I was sitting there filming a um, dog going, you know, dog track in Portland. And this one guy goes, hey, Bob, I know you. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, because I'm a conservative. Uh -huh. um, but I'm a conservative cop watch, and a lot of people don't. So I get hatred from both sides. Um, I go, yeah, what's up? He goes, oh, yeah, me and my partner. And his partner's standing right there. I go, oh, this is going to get ugly. <laughs> and he goes, uh, hey, well, we watch your channel all the time. I go, oh, cool. He goes, hey, you need a place? He, he, what's going on? I go, they told me I had to go down here. Why? Because. Well, step on my property. So I stepped on this property, right? <laughs> and a cop came up to me and goes, you got to move down there. I, and the guy goes, uh, he's a guest on my property. <laughs> <laughs> the cop was pissed. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, I'm going to dip inside. Okay, you be safe. Yeah, you too. All right. They're doing all kinds of unsafe stuff right there. What's that? Said they're gonna hold off for a while, so we're gonna open the street for a while. We're gonna have to close the game, I think. Okay, so it's clear to walk up and down now? Yeah, yeah, until we close the game, then we'll come back here and break. Okay. So they're gonna hold off for a while.
cooling off for a second, and then they're gonna shut it, shut it down. I think they got something that they don't know how to deal with. Oh. So. I was told that the street's open, but those, they're gonna shut it down pretty quick, so. Well, just temporarily, once they shut it down, I'll have to go back up to the corner again. Yeah. But. Yeah, I saw they evacuated this box right here. Yeah. Oh. What a crazy day. So is that your roommate that came out? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've got quite a few roommates actually. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but I don't know. They uh, they say they found explosive devices in there. That's why they, yeah, that's why they shut it down because bomb squad went in to deal with it. And I guess they said, well, we're gonna, we're uh, we're gonna stop for now, but we're gonna do it again. We're gonna shut down the street. So. Yeah, I seen you stand right there. I'm like, there's a serious explo explosive in there. And that thing blows and causes a bunch of shrapnel. You're gonna get shrapnel. <laughs> Yeah, that's why uh, up there I go, hey, can I warn her to get back? And he's like, who? I go, her. He goes, oh, they're, th th those people are already safe. I go, no, there's a lady sitting right in front of that house in her yard. And he's like, what? He goes over and then he sees you. <laughs> you know, because I don't, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter your politics or anything like that. I hate to see someone get hurt. No. I was just curious. Yeah. Well, they generally do that when when there's an explosive device found. Um, I've I've been on I've went to several explosive devices. Some of them are real serious. Uh, in Portland, they found a hand grenade sitting behind a yeah. plaid pantry and uh, next to a kindergarten school. Yeah, nice place for a hand grenade, huh? Then, then I've had, then I've dealt with the really stupid, um, where this one couple was in Pacific County, which is in Washington, found a um, pipe bomb, an old pipe bomb, right, all rusty and stuff, and they did the, they did what they thought was the best thing in the world to do. They put it in the trunk of their car and drove it over to the Astoria Police Department. <laughs> it's like right next to the gas tank. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like uh, excuse me, uh, that's an explosive device, and the minute you pick it up, you're in possession of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, number two, you're not an explosives expert, yeah. uh, or otherwise you wouldn't have did it that way. Yeah. Um, number three, um, it's actually a federal crime to take explosives across state lines. <laughs> now, what is the proper thing to do? Tell everyone to get back, call the police, and let them come out, look at it, and say, yeah, I think it's a bomb. We'll, uh, we'll call out the explosives team. <laughs> Instead of risking blowing up a bridge to do the right thing. Because gunpowder, when it starts sweating, that sweat's nitroglycerin. A lot of people don't know that, but that's... And nitroglycerin is a lot more explosive than gunpowder. <laughs> oh, I don't really know much about it. Yeah. I know, that's what's bothering me, too. No. Yeah. 
it depends on how how you do it. If you put, if you have a can of paint there and you throw some metal chips in there, stick it on the stove and turn it on high, oh, yeah. and it explodes, you got yourself a bomb. Yeah. Um, if you just put it on the stove and no one even thought about it and turned on the stove to heat it up and forgot to take it off, that's an accident. So. All right, you be safe. All right. Okay. So the bomb squad is still there. Hey, Corporal. Hi, all right. All right. Good. Hey, how you doing? Uh-oh, paperwork.
Hey, how you doing? You guys opening the street now? I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, Sergeant, the street open? Okay, cool. Body cam thing? Yeah. How does that work? You gotta plug it into your uh, computer and download it? Or yep. How much does it hold, like, running time? Uh, about eight hours. About eight hours? Do they sell bigger sizes? Or? No, this is, this. I got the biggest one they got. Is that a pretty good uh, uh, video feed? Yeah. Is it? How much does that cost you? Uh, 250 bucks. And then where do you, you just push a button to start recording? Yeah, I push side? a button here and then there's a button on the side to push. It's pretty handy. So. It's big. But uh, sometimes I'm, I like recording myself sometimes, and, but using my cell phone is kind of a pain. Oh, yeah. But that's kind of, it's kind of thick, but I think that's how most of them are. Yeah, it's, I, I like it. That way people know I'm recording and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. Um, so they told me that they found a fake hand grenade in there. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy them at like army surplus stores and stuff. I have one at my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my, I was at an army surplus store in Washington. I went to uh, Fort Lewis one time and my kids were like, oh yeah, like, oh, what are So I bought for them, like, you know, mm -hmm. play guns or whatever and told them, you know, like, play army or whatever. I don't know. I don't think I'd let... Even a fake hand grenade, I don't think I'd let my kids throw those. They look pretty heavy. <laughs> One gets hit in the head. Wow. Yeah, well, my boys are kind of crazy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, All right, well, have a good day. All right, you too.
Hey, how you doing? You wonder what happened? Well, apparently someone decided to make some coffee and didn't notice that there was a, um, um, what is that? Paint uh, bucket on top of the stove and it exploded. It was on the burner? Yeah. <laughs> Turn the burner on? Yeah. Oh, shit. oh my God. <laughs> it's like a, just like a gallon or something. Yeah. Can, not like an aerosol. No. And it exploded the paint can. Yeah. And blew out the windows. And blew out the windows. And then while they were there, they found what they thought was a live grenade. And it's, it turned out being one of those ones you can buy at uh, Army surplus stores with the bottom drilled out. So it's not a lie. That's why the bomb squad's here? That's why the bomb squad's here, to deal with a fake hand grenade. Uh, well, you just don't <laughs> ever know. You don't ever know. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, if you got a hole this big in the bottom of the oh, grenade, no. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Oh, yeah. So, we hear, we hear the people are in the hospital. Yeah, well, um, the lady that lives here, her daughter's in the, uh, went to the hospital for burns. I guess they took her over to Emmanuel. Oh, God. Well, if you turn on the stove with oh, paint cans God. on top of the stove and you get it hot enough where it explodes. So. <laughs> oh, that's really sad. I hope they're okay. I hope she's okay too. But is the daughter young? Do you know? Oh, she looked like she's about fifty. So. Fifty, okay. The um, <laughs> daughter is probably between twenties and thirties. Okay. So I I didn't ask her how old her daughter was. Right. Yeah. Gosh, Kathleen. <laughs> You're welcome. How you doing? How are you? All right. Hey, killer. Oh yeah. Oh Stay yeah. Down. Stay down. <laughs>
does look like there's some damage done there. Hey, Dylan. This is the back of the house. You can see how much damage was done by that exploding paint. Quite a bit.
for a paint canister, there's a lot of damage. Did it blow up the front window? Yeah. Look at the side over there. <laughs> the window clean out. Yeah. Not just the glass. Yeah. I mean, it knocked it off its frame. Look at the roof. Look at that oh over God. there. Yeah, I can see the side of the house is tilted out. Yeah. What are you seeing in the roof? What am I missing? Look up there. See how it's uh, separated? No. Okay. I see it from the pergola is separate. What do you see? Yeah. What do you see? See right there where the, that, that top part goes up like this and down? It's supposed to be flat across. See the sandpaper roof? Sa sandpaper part? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. It got lifted. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Are you a reporter? Huh? Are you a reporter? I, I'm an alternative journalist. Oh yeah, but it's like statesman? No, I do it for myself. I'm oh, a, do you? Yeah. 